everybody, Gary here with Pal Music. I hope you enjoyed that playthrough of Best Part by Her featuring Daniel Caesar. So we're about to get into the lesson segment, but it kind of picks up in the middle of nowhere because this is actually an excerpt of a larger lesson on eight classic seventh chord progressions. So if you want to see that full compilation video, links in the description. And if you want to download the tab to go along with this song and all those songs, that's on my Patreon page, also linked in the description. All right, let's get into the lesson. All right, last but not least, we have Best Part. Oh, such a beautiful modern soul song, great wedding song. One of my friends, it was his wedding song. So this one, D major, seven, in the A major seven shape. So, then to an A minor seven in the, basically the E minor shape. But I'm skipping over the A string. So I'm mostly just playing, if I have an E string root, I'm playing E string and then D, G, B strings, skipping over the A. And if I've got an A string root, which is only on the D, I'm playing the middle four strings. And I'm just doing this pull method, which is trying to pull the strings out and then slap on two and four. One, two, three, four. And I'm playing on the one and the end of two. One, two, and three, four. One, slap, play. So it's play, slap, play, slap, play, slap, play, slap. Then I go to the A minor seven. And I play that I just bar across the fifth fret. So that was the one chord to the five minor. Very interesting. This chord progression doesn't follow the rules, which I think is also why it just sounds fresh and you don't get sick of it over the course of the song. And their melodies also are cool because they, they change, they follow the chords. So barring with your third finger across the fifth fret, strings one, two, three, four, and then middle finger catches the root. Uh, the way Daniel Caesar plays it is like this, with the thumb over, so index finger, and then thumb, he goes. And then here, he also does the thumb over. I don't do it like that, I do it like this. So now we go to a G major seven which is the four chord. And that's in the E major seven shape, which is, there's an E major seven. Just. So I do index on the low E string third fret then middle finger on the third fret of the B string, and then I take these two guys and put them, excuse the dog hair, on the fourth fret of the middle two strings and skip over the A string. But you could also do it with the thumb. And then we go to the flat six major chord. So it's really, these two chords, this chord and this chord, are out of D minor. And this chord and this chord are out of D major. So it's kind of got this major minor thing going on. That's my best way of describing it. Modal interchange between D major and D minor. So D major 7, A minor 7, 5 minor, 4 major, G major 7. B flat, major seven, flat six, major seven. And then sometimes he goes, he goes from this note, which is the uh, fifth, to the sixth, which is actually the 13th, six equals 13. The fact that we have a third, we have a fifth, we have a seventh, we gotta keep going up in numbers to 13. If we didn't have a seven, we could call it a six chord, but we have a seven, so we have to go up to 13. 13 equals six, though. And the way that he plays it is like this. Just adds the pinky. And I go. So. If you want 
to make sure you're getting those hits on time, you might want to use a metronome. Put an accent on the two and the four and make sure you're landing on the accent. Or if you don't have that, just make sure you're landing on the click. So it should be click, 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 click. Right? And the second hit is in between clicks. Click. Click, play, click, 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 play, click, 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 play, click, 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 play, click, click. And then just to give you an idea of, I didn't go over the leads in any of the others, but this one's really sweet. I kind of want to... You know, those R&B, those pentatonic trail-offs... So much of that. And then she does this. If I had it my way, if I had it my way. You know, and this I just got, I just was trying to imitate her and Daniel Caesar on the guitar. And just by trying to imitate them, you just figure things out. Like, I wouldn't do that unless I was trying to imitate a singer. You know. So if you want to try to sound more vocal, imitate singers. That's best thing to do that'll make you sound more like a human through your guitar playing uh, so then it's all all pentatonic but then he goes you know right out of this pentatonic scale you're the coffee that i need in the morning you're the sunshine in the rain when it's pouring won't you give yourself to me Give, but then give it all and that note give it all that's over this chord that's the give it all i just want to see then i just want to see how beautiful you are then there again over again that's over this chord that's the root movie. So they really know what they're doing here and just great ears, great songwriting. Now, the reason why I made this video was to go along with unit 10 in my Fret Live Fretboard Mastery Program, which is on seventh chords. It's a 12 unit course that shows you how music works on the fretboard. We start with the very foundations of music theory, the chromatic scale, the 12 notes we have, thinking of those notes as intervals, using those intervals to create scales and chords. And each step of the way, there's a creative challenge and a song learning assignment. So with each unit, you could apply what you learn to actually create music and see how it works. Now, even though most of the content is pre-recorded fret live videos, there's quizzes, there's PDFs, and there's weekly live sessions and a private group where you share your assignments with 40 other classmates that are all getting access to the same unit one week at a time over 16 weeks. It's 12 units, but there's three break weeks just so everyone could kind of catch up, reflect on what they learned before going back at it. So at the time I'm posting this, the next one starts in a couple days on May 17th. If you can't make the live sessions, that's all right. I pre-record them. So you can still take advantage of all aspects of the course, even if the live sessions don't work out with your schedule. But I host one on a weekday evening and one on a weekend morning just to accommodate different time zones and you could choose which one works for you. I put a video together with some testimonials and a full kind of tour of everything that's inside the course and I'll link that in the description as well. All right, everybody, happy playing and I'll see you in the next lesson. Before I go, I just want to extend a big thank you to all of the POW Music patrons and a special thank you to the following higher level patrons at patreon.com slash POW Music. Thank you to Alexander Pitterman, Andrew Vogel, Arwin Guzen, Cam Chernichon, Chris Watson, Chris Freeman, Daniel Small, Derek Mickle, Don Stringham, Donald James Grass, Joff Weathermax, Jim McCall, John Hartquist, John Cushman, Joseph McCarthy, Jurgen Schwartz, Newt Olive Wald, Noah Brand, Rich Mason, Ryan Helston, Sean Ellis, and Trampus Thompson. Thank you so much for making these lessons possible. I'll see you guys in the next lesson.